Another way congressmen line their pockets is a technique that Peter Schweitzer calls the toll booth. Essentially, they say, look, I need a contribution from you. We've got a bill coming up that's of interest to you. If you don't make the contribution, I might vote differently, or I might stop a vote on that bill, or I might speed up a vote on that bill. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass H.R. 1002 as amended? In 2011, the day before a vote to freeze cell phone taxes, Speaker of the House John Boehner collected nearly $40,000 directly from wireless industry executives who supported the bill. The next day, it passed. The rules are suspended, the bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. They spend very little time talking about policy. They spend a lot of time raising money. And raising money in Washington has turned into a kind of pay-to-play system where buying power can get expensive, but can also be financially rewarding. I mean, if you want to sit on a committee that actually matters, you're going to have to pay for it. There's a price list, and they distribute the price list. Schweitzer uncovered this document that shows the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee actually released an official price list couched as dues goals. A spot in House leadership or ranking membership of an exclusive committee meant you were expected to bring in at least $450,000 for the party. Less prestigious spots cost anywhere from $125,000 to $300,000. Republicans put out a similar list. And the theory is, if you're going to be on House Financial Services, where you're regulating Wall Street and the banks, you should be able to shake people down for half a million dollars. And we, as your political party, expect you to be able to do that.